Hi everyone, this is Jake from My Eleven Worlds Ants. Today is a video on a DIY formicarium for one of my Momica Rubra colonies. Welcome to the My Eleven Worlds Ants channel. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. If you've watched my previous video on different setups, you will have seen this setup. An actual setup for my Momica Rubra colony, the European Fire Ants. This setup had a range of nice features, like all of the moss, a cool piece of wood, as well as some other invertebrates living alongside the ants. Today, we're doing a dry natural setup with a white on nest. First, we'll get an empty tub. You can do this with anything large enough, like an old Tupperware tub, or something much larger if you prefer. Next, we'll add some rocks, instead of adding a wet substrate so that the ants don't nest in there. I've chosen to go with a piece of bark with a fake plant attached and placed my homemade white on nest inside. If you would like to know how I made this white on nest, or would like to see a video on this, comment below. Now, as this setup does not have a lid, you can use a barrier around the edges. I like to use olive oil, as this is more natural than other chemicals that are used. Just run a thin layer around the edge of the tub, all the way around. You can do this with your finger, or with a cotton ball and tweezers. This will prevent any workers from escaping. The idea is that it's a simple and easy natural setup, but with a bonus of having a white on nest, I thought that it would be nice to have a mix of the two. I didn't want a white on nest or acrylic nest connected by a piece of tubing to an outboard. This would be much more unique and different. I slowly introduced the colony to the new setup by creating a bridge from a wooden stick to the old nest. Another homemade nest which was made from an old pinball toy. This colony was creating a lot of mess in their nest and I decided it was time for a change and to put them into a better setup before they hibernate. Keeping ants in a conventional test tube setup is great, as you get a very clear visibility of your queen ant and colony. This is perfect for colonies in their founding stages. A natural setup really does give a different experience of keeping ants. When keeping ants in a tube, although a lot of ant keepers are happy with this setup, I find sometimes it's nice to escape the feeling of seeing your ants in almost a laboratory setup. I already have a colony in a natural setup, but wanted to change things up. The white hole nest will provide perfect observation when the ants finally move in. The ants spent a few hours going up and down the bridge and exploring their new home. I had no idea how soon they would move in, but sure enough, they finally started to make a move. I spent so much time just watching these ants go up and down, and deciding if the new nest was better. There were so many workers gathered around both ends of the bridge, and the decision to move was very quick. When your colony is moving, the workers will make a decision based on certain factors. The amount of light in the new area, the amount of water, and the amount of space. The first few workers will scout out to the new uncharted territory. Then they will find an ideal spot. They will go back to the nest and communicate with the other workers to tell them there is a new nest which is much better. After some time, many workers will join in scouting the new nest. Finally, some workers will stay in the new nest and even carry queens and young workers if they do not seem willing to go. Then finally, I saw something that was really exciting. I saw one of the queens. She was being carried by a worker along the bridge and into the new setup. This was really cool as with most colonies, the queens are well hidden and guarded by workers. Then shortly after, I saw another queen going of her own free will. This time, the new nest. And at some point later on, I saw another queen. The move only took around three hours, and there wasn't a single worker left in the old nest. It's really easy to make your own custom nest, with many different features. The one I made of course is quite simple, but you can create your own formicarium with endless possibilities. This species of ant in this setup is a colony of European fire ants known as Mamrica rubra. They are native to the UK and Europe, and hibernate in winter. If you want to learn more about hibernating your ants, you can watch last week's video on how to hibernate your queen ant. The old setup that this species was in had a lot of chewed up cotton and dead ants building up. I decided that in a few weeks before my colony goes into hibernation, it would be good to give them a fresh nest where there is no chance of mold to build up. This new setup will also provide both a natural but observable feel to it. Unlike my other natural setup, where they live below in the soil, this colony will hopefully move into the form of carrier made from Whitong. The nest will provide the right amount of humidity and the features around it will allow the colony to have a foraging area for food. Just a quick update on what's in store for next week, as well as a look at my DIY glass bottle setups and the three colonies we have inside. So, after doing a video on how to hibernate your queen ant or colony, next week I'll be showing you some of my personal colonies and queens, which will be moving into some founding setups. 
with two nests as well as a third homemade whitehall nest. A while ago, I decided to place some queens into my own DIY founding setup, where I used a small glass bottle and filled them with sand. These little bottles ended up creating the perfect founding chamber. My Fidoli Faladula queen now has many workers. They will require a new setup soon. I can't wait for this big headed ant colony to grow. The Lassis Niger queen now has at least 15 workers. She and her first workers are doing really well. I will also move them into a new setup before they hibernate. And finally, my Manica Rabida queen is doing well, but I still haven't seen any sight of her first worker. I'm still waiting on her. My other colonies and queens are all doing good. Soon, all of these ants will prepare to shut down. In next week's video, I'll be showing you many of my personal queens and colonies, some which will be moving nests. I will also be going over feeding my queens and colonies before hibernation. I will also be showing you my homemade white owl nest. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you like the content in this video, please comment below on your thoughts, and don't forget to give this video a like. Be sure to also check out my shop for an upcoming sale. We have lots of different European species for sale, shipping to the UK and Europe. Check out our Instagram and Facebook page to follow some of my personal queens and colonies. Stay tuned for future videos with new species. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you in next week's video.